Good morning, happy Friday. <laughs> I'm typically in a hurry when I get to school on Fridays, trying to get stuff done before my PLC meeting that we have in the mornings. So I figured I would just get on, say good morning, and hello, and that's about it. <laughs> um, it's Friday, and I'm so excited. It's going to be a really good day. Um, my students are working on some books. Um, they've created, um, or they're writing a book, because they said in a vlog recently, like, they never, like, get the chance, I feel like, just to, like, create fictional stories. He does this every time. He gets Skylar's glove off the table, and then he just leaves it there. <laughs> anyway, they never really get the chance to write, um, just, like, fictional, just, like, fun imaginative stories I feel like um because we're just like so focused on other things I feel like so I thought it'd be kind of fun and then it kind of is going to count as like our read across America um like activity for today because um they're writing their own stories so what I did was I printed last night I printed um a little pages so I'm gonna make them each a little book this morning so I gotta get into school because I have to make those because I didn't get to make them yesterday since I had tutoring so I think it's gonna be pretty fun that'll take us probably the majority of the day since we have been on day um so it'll probably take us a good chunk okay I give you food okay all right I'm gonna go feed him I'll catch up with you guys later today all right happy end of the day I am exhausted I just I don't know I feel like in a very weird mood and it was one of those moods where I just like I started just throwing away everything like my trash can is so full right now I just started getting rid of everything um obviously stuff I can get rid of but I don't know I just like got in a mood of throwing things away so I went through and threw away a bunch of stuff it's currently 4 40 I'm planning on just staying late because I have like so many things that I'm trying to get done and I thought I was gonna have like a lot of time this afternoon and I had like so many things that needed to get done like not that I just wanted to do um and then I found out I'm teaching Saturday school tomorrow so I'll be doing that so I had to figure out that activity I'm gonna do like um St. Patrick's Day themed minute to win it activities um so I just needed something that was like super quick and wasn't gonna take a lot of prep since I'm like down on my time now um but yeah so I got together I'm not gonna like go too close because it's got like student names on it and stuff but I did my I ready uh, March Madness thing this was so stinking hard to put together because I could not figure out for the life of me I probably should have like looked at an example online but I could not figure out for the life of me how to like make it work and then like come together in the middle it took me so long because I wanted it to fit perfectly on the poster because I first was going to put it on the board and then I was like you know what I'm going to put it on the poster so I can move it in case I need to move it and yeah it was just it was so hard <laughs> and then I got all of these today it's all science stuff so I have to go through all that which it's not going to happen today there's no way but I have to go through all that and like make sure everything was shipped that was supposed to be shipped um so I have a list so I need to do that <laughs> which is going to be so much fun and then the funnest part of all of that is I'm gonna have to figure out where to put all that so I'm gonna open up I got a book box so I'm gonna open this up and then I'll show you guys what's inside okay so these are what my students ordered so I'm just gonna not show you that because that doesn't really matter and then I got oh, I kind of messed these all up I was trying to take a picture which was so difficult but um, I try to get like the little packs just so I get like the most books possible which, I mean, makes, like, the most sense, right? Um, so I got a pack of the Black Lagoon Adventures. There's, I believe, there was five of them, or six of them, I guess, six. And then this one actually came in um, a separate little, like, book pack that I got for ordering, like, X amount of dollars. So it came with these ones, which is, um, these are kind of cool. I have one of them already. I don't remember which one. Oh, the puppy one. But the other ones are new, so that's cool and then I got this huge pack of um what are these called the National Geographic Kids um uh, or biographies not autobiographies so it came with Amelia Earhart, Sacagawea, Martin Luther King, 
Alexander Hamilton, Sonia Sotomayor, Nelson Mandela, uh, Walt Disney, whoops, Albert Einstein, Rosa Parks, Helen Keller, Mother Teresa, and Frederick Douglass. I thought this was a really good pack, and if I remember correctly, it was super, like, not cheap, but like I spent points on it, and it wasn't that many points for how many books you got, and I feel like these are such good books to have. Um, so I got that, and then I, my kids really like these ones. I have a bunch of them, um, and these were just ones I didn't have. Tor tor tarantula <laughs> versus scorpion, hornet versus wasp, and ultimate bug rumble. So I got those, and then this one came in that same, it was a five book pack that you got for ordering so much. It also came with this one, um, and it came with this one. I've never heard of these ones before, so that looks kind of cool. And then it also came with, what other book did it come with? Oh, it came with this one. And then it came with one more, I think. Oh, wait, maybe I didn't. One. Oh, it came with this one, Animal Architects. So, got those. And then I also got this pack of two. I thought these looked really cool. Stick Cat and Stick Dog. I feel like my kids like books um, kind of like this. Like They love like Dog Man, Captain Underpants. So I thought maybe these would be kind of up their alley. So I got those. It was just in a pack. And then I'm super excited about these. These are... Um, um, I don't remember what the title was, but they're like influential black people, basically. Um, so Martin Luther King Jr., um, Jackie Robinson, and then Rosa Parks and Harriet Tubman. Super excited to have these. I've never had any of these I Am books, and I think that they are so cool. Um, there's so much detail in the pictures and stuff, so I think my kids are really going to like these. I'm really excited about these. Um, so I got those, and then I got... A pack of goosebumps we've been currently reading a choose your own adventure goosebumps and they've been loving it so I picked these up um, I probably wouldn't have normally but just because we've been reading that and they've been so into it I'm like anything to get my kids into interested in the books I will gladly do and then I just got these two I think they were dollar moustache I have the Christmas one of this and then um, a bad case of stripes I guess I've never had this book so I don't even know I feel like I used to have it maybe I didn't so that's all I got and I spent I think $12, um, and the rest was just points, so super, super good. I'm excited to put these in my library. I just need to put my name on them. I think I'm going to leave these ones out of my library, and then possibly some of the autobiography ones, or biography ones. Um, I'm not sure yet, because I, I feel like, I don't know, you guys, my books go missing so much. Like, do you guys have that problem, and how do you, like solve it like I don't want to do a checkout system that is just way too much like work and my kids get library books so it's like they only really use those books for um like if they've already read their library book or just like in between I guess I don't know um but I feel like like all my Captain Underpants books are like just gone and I have no way of like, keeping track of like books that are coming in and out which is I don't know what to do but I guess there's really no other way <laughs> um I don't know. I mean, I guess if they're stealing a book, then hopefully they're reading it, right? I don't know. One of the trainings I went to before was, like, you have to get over books being stolen. Like, it's just going to happen. Um, but you should always, like, encourage your kids to, like, be reading. So it's, like, you have to just, like, accept that it's going to happen. Um, but, yeah. So I guess since I use points, it's not a super big deal. But it is a little frustrating. <laughs> so, anyway. I got... That done, I got, I need to write my name on those. Got the iReady thing done. I'm not gonna do those boxes today. My planning for next week, I organized all my papers for next week. Got homework ready. Um, there's a couple other things I wanted to do. What did I wanna do? Today we just worked on those books that I told you guys about. This is what I ended up, I didn't create this. I printed it off TBT. I literally typed in like, book template. I think I don't know it was just a freebie and this is what it turned out like so there's a little cover page and then they had um, six writing pages that they could use and then about the author on the back I just stapled it threw it together it took me like 10 minutes to create all these this morning so not too bad um, and the kids had a lot of fun with it most of the kids um, really enjoyed the writing there's always gonna be a few that just don't like care to do stuff like that um, but I do notice that a lot of my kids who maybe aren't like people who necessarily or that normally like writing really like writing when it's just like a creative outlet kind of thing so they um they really enjoyed it so it was super cute to see their stories and I kept them for their open house box at the end of the year um so yeah I would show them to you but that's I don't know I feel weird about showing that so 
yeah um for tomorrow for saturday school i'm doing the minute to win it like i told you guys so i'm gonna group kids into um i can show you like the little screen that i created uh okay so i cr wow i created this screen so each kid because i do three different rotations so each time I have a new group of students, I'm going to put their names up on the board. I'm going to have this display on the board. Use a whiteboard marker to put kids into groups. I don't know how many kids there's going to be, so I have no idea like how many kids it will be in each group. Then I'm going to let each group, this is my plan I think, I'm going to let each group play each game two times. So like two kids from each group will get to play that game and then that will be it. So they're going to do, this is actually not going to be marshmallow stacking anymore. Um, you use chopsticks and then you stack, you're supposed to stack marshmallows like from Lucky Charms. I'm actually going to use um, the like single unit base 10 blocks because I have a bunch of them and they're all different colors so that's going to work better than I don't have to buy Lucky Charms. Rainbow Builder is going to be Fruit Loops on a, um, what do you call it? A pipe cleaner but it's one or two people and they each can only use one hand so they'll have to like work together to figure out how to do that then rainbow organizer is going to be I'll take all those base 10 blocks again they have I'm gonna give them well actually maybe I won't use that I might use the the fruit loops for this too they I'm gonna put cups down and then they have to organize all the cup or all the cereal by color as quick as they can and then treasure stacking I have pennies and so they'll stack up as many pennies as they can um, in one minute and I feel like there was another game oh there is another game there's game five they take this these popsicle stick things the big ones they'll put one of the sides in their um, in like hanging out of their mouth and then they'll stack fruit loops I think I guess I'll just use fruit loops I'll just get like a huge bag of fruit loops I guess um, they'll stack fruit loops on the um, like end of it and see how many they can hold before it like falls on the ground so that's my plan for tomorrow and like I said I'll have each group pay, play the game two times and then I also have a book to read them a like St. Patrick's Day book so I'm gonna do that and then I think that will be good I don't know I was trying to find something just like easy and like low prep I also took my sweatshirt off so hey um yeah, I don't know. I feel like that'll be fun. I think they'll they'll enjoy that. So I'm gonna do that and so that's all good for tomorrow. I'm tired. Mm. I need to update my iReady wall for how many lessons that they've passed since I added those all up. So I'm gonna do that and I'll probably head home because also Skylar could not pick up the turf today. I don't know, something like happened and the guy, <laughs> Skylar was like, the guy had no idea what he was talking about. And apparently like they drove about like an hour from our house, it's like an hour 10 away to go to this person's like, I don't know what it was he was going to, but they went to go find it and then like the guy like just didn't have it and the people had like no idea what he was talking about. And apparently the thing is in a different city that's like an hour from like that city in a different direction but like way closer to where we live so we were just like our sky was like what like <laughs> that was like way closer like the city that it's actually in is like i don't know maybe like 20 minutes away like not bad at all just depending on like where in the city but yeah like 20 minutes <laughs> versus like the hour and 10 that they drove today and got nothing so i'm sure that was fun for him and i'm sure he really really enjoyed it <laughs> so okay i'm gonna get to work stop taking up time. What am I trying to say? I'm stop procrastinating. Stop procrastinating, get to work, and then I can go home. <laughs> Good morning. It's actually a new day. I never ended off any clips from yesterday, but I thought I'd quickly show you. It's Saturday, but I thought I'd quickly show you um, my Saturday school, like, setup. So, I showed you guys yesterday the, like, setup on my screen, and then I just set up every game in these baskets because they're, like, the perfect size. So then this will be for the, um, balancing Fruit Loops as high as they can stack. Um, this, I didn't end up finding chopsticks, but actually I think this is going to work out better because I realized my little TKers, their hands are way too small, even, like, Kinder first. Their hands are way too small to try and use chopsticks, so, um, they're just going to use these and, like, hold obviously with two hands I just don't have two hands right now and then they'll pick them up and then um, set them down and I thought they were cute because little rainbow sticks um, so they'll try to stack them and um, then I figured I could just use these for something else and then this will be for the um, what do you call it 
Oh, the organizing. So I don't have any cups, and I forgot to bring my cups from home. So I think what I'm going to do, I put these all back here, and I'm going to have the kids, like, organize them, like, up there. And then they're going to have to, like, relay all the way over here to put the um, Fruit Loops in here. And I also don't have a yellow bucket, so I'm going to figure out, I have to figure out what I'm going to do for the yellow. Because I don't have any yellow buckets, and I never realized that. So that's that. I still need to put all these books away. I left them kind of a hurry yesterday because my friend, um, she was talking to me and she was like, I'm going to head home. Do you want to leave? And I was like, honestly, yeah, like I need to leave. So I just went home. But anyway, um, and then this will be for the pipe cleaner, um, Fruit Loop, like stringing through challenge. Um, and then we have the penny treasure stacking. Uh, and then I just have those just if, if I ever need them. And then I actually decided last night so that I can make it a little bit more, um, I don't know what my camera's doing. Zoomed in. I have no idea. Why is it on manual focus? I have no idea. Anyway, I have to figure that out. <laughs> um, I figured out last night after they're done because I didn't know how long this is going to take. So I figured that they could um, do like a STEM activity where they um, use my STEM stuff like my Legos, my building blocks, all that kind of stuff and build a um, leprechaun trap. So they'll have to like work with their team and build a leprechaun trap. So I thought that would be kind of fun. And then... I can bring in like the STEM aspect of it as well. And then we'll just make the games like super, super quick, honestly. Um, and then I have the book to read. I'm gonna do, what is it? The old, there was an old lady who swallowed a clover. So I'm gonna do that while I eat my Fruit Loops. Um, it's gonna be a good day. Gonna get out of here quick. And I'm gonna go to Walmart afterward, browse the clothing section, see if they brought any, um, what do you call it? like spring clothing for Miami next week and I want to get some like gradual tan lotion because I have some but it's like I have like one use left so I'm gonna go get some more and that's about it so oh and then I also bought these at Dollar Tree for the winning team they're just like gold coins I don't know they say something on them four leaf clover for good luck hmm. I don't know I was gonna do those like metals but then I'd have to buy like so many of them and then, I don't know. I think they come in like packs of six, but I, don't know, I just wasn't down. So I, I saw those and I was like, oh, that's perfect. So anyway, if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'm going to go. Farewell.